Hey, it's Joseph here. We've got a box over here that I would like to unbox and showcase to you. It is a product from Asus Pro Art Series Pro Art Display PA278CV. And it's got a few features that I would like to mention. So, yeah, let's go ahead and have a look at this one. And going around the box, we've got a couple of features that are listed over here. It is definitely 27 inch monitor and then it is 1440p WQHD monitor and it is IPS panel and then 100% Rec 709 sRGB and then color accuracy is less than Delta 2. So it means it is really color accurate. It's got high dynamics of color capable. So it makes it perfect for people who's doing color accurate work. And then Pro Art preset, which is kind of known for all the Pro Art displays. And then different type of color gamut, six axis color adjustment is available for you. And I think this icon signifies that it has thin bezel as well as USB-C power delivery, USB port, and then it can swivel and rotate and go up and down. And then you have brightness adjustment along with and then I have no idea what this is and you can mount onto the VESA and then it does have three year warranty. And I think that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and open it. And by the way, Asus did send me this monitor for video purposes like this. Okay, it definitely is a bit challenging to get everything in the frame, especially when I get a big box like this. So I got big chunk of styrofoam and all the packaging that I pulled out from the box. And here is a certificate. Pro Art Display PA278CV Color Calibration Testing Report. So it is basically saying it has been calibrated from the factory. Therefore, it is very color accurate, which Pro Art Series displays have been known for. And we got the monitor arm plate, the bottom plate of the monitor arm. And we got a product manual that's been somewhat banged up inside the box. And this is a test unit, therefore it has been handled by multiple people. That's probably why. Not that I'm gonna have a look at it. And then a couple of cables are included. USB-C to USB-C cable to connect your laptops and such. And then we've got display port cable, which I may not use for this video's purpose. And then a couple of other cables are included in the box. So I got a power cable and it seemingly doesn't have the AC adapter. So the power source is definitely built into the monitor, which is nice. I prefer those rather than having a separate AC brick that hangs around. And here is HDMI cable. If you prefer to use this for your connection for the monitor let's make ourselves a bit of room here and then here is a main bit so here is the monitor that's actually in sort of a vertical position and I don't want to reveal without actually having it mounted securely onto here so I'm gonna try and assemble this before I get it up so basically, you just have the bottom end here, insert this here, and then there's gonna be a screw for you to tighten. And once you do that, the bottom has been securely attached to the monitor arm, and now you can just basically stand it. There you go. Let's get rid of this wrap. So there you go. Sort of the black finish all around except the bottom feet and the arm itself is silver. And then here is the thickness and onto the back. We got Asus logo over here along with a cable route where you can just route all the cables into so that you can neatly route it to however you want. And then it's got written text over here onto the side. It says Pro Art on the arm itself. And usually this is a better angle to show you all the ports of the back. So let me just swivel it around and then you can kind of see all the ports over here and I can't see it. So let me have a look. So from the top over here, you've got a switch 
that is just turning on and off and then the power cord goes on here and then you got a release button for the VESA mount on the back. I believe once you release that you're going to have the VESA mount for you to use your own monitor arm and then you got a headphone jack, HDMI, display port USB type C and then another display port and then a set of USB type A ports. And then just reading the text on the back, this is basically display port out, meaning that you can daisy chain these monitors together. So you can rely on one single source of the monitor cable and then drive two different monitors. And then apparently, once you swivel around to the side like this and on the side, you got two additional USB type A ports for your quick connection of different set of USB drives and all the peripherals that you would like to connect to your computer. And that's pretty much it in terms of the port goes. And by the way, on the back, it states that USB type C port supports up to 20 volts by 3.25 amperes. So that is about 60 watts of power delivery that it is able to push. So I can use this monitor to power my laptop if I wanted to, and then basically rely on that single connection of USB C to drive both the power and then all the peripherals that's been connected to the monitor as well as driving the display onto here for super color accurate stuff and then turning around i can get ton of swivel rotate as i have shown so up and down and then rotate like so and then you also have a swivel about that much on both sides and you can kind of see that in terms of the reflection it does not reflect like a mirror more of a matte coating on top and on the front at the bottom bezel over here there's ruler that's been etched onto the plastic so you can measure the real life stuff to the graphics that you have created everything is seemingly in centimeter so you're gonna have to use metrics for that but that's a nice touch and then a couple of buttons over here to navigate through the menu system as well as the power button and the LED indicator over there. So that is pretty much it for this monitor as far as the physicality goes. And I have another big box over here to drive this monitor in showcase with. And why do I do that? Well, let me open it up for you. And if you look inside of this machine there, it is another Pro Art Series part that I have used for this build of desktop here. It is a Pro Art Series motherboard that everything has been built on. So basically Asus have this Pro Art Series across different type of devices that basically is meant for all the creators and the professionals who's trying to do real work other than you know the gaming stuff yeah i just wanted to showcase both the motherboard as well as the monitor all being paired up for the stuff that we actually do and i really like this motherboard because it has a ton of connection for all the usbs on the back and also the front ios so that you can rely on those to connect all of your peripherals connection and it is an ATX size so you're gonna need a case and overall configurations that supports it which is pretty much the standard size and in terms of the storage you've got up to three different M.2 NVMEs that you can install onto the board and it does support PCI Express Gen 5 and then having a dual ethernet ports for your connections. But typically you do want a graphics card installed on a machine like this to carry out your professional or the creative works that you typically do. But I have not installed it because I wanted to ensure that the motherboard is actually shown, not covered by all the parts that has been installed on here, but it should still run since the CPU does have integrated graphics. So I'm just gonna connect everything together and then just show you what kind of picture that we can get out of this monitor. Okay, so I've got everything set up now and just understand that my camera may not do the justice for this monitor since it doesn't have as high dynamics than this monitor. If I actually had the monitor brightness at 50%, the image was completely washed on the camera, although 
the image looked really good on my real eye. So yeah, just understand what you may see on your screen will look very different from what I'm seeing here, but just take my word for it. The pictures look fantastic. I'll just do a short run of this video over here, just so that you can kind of have a feel of what it may look like. So anyone who's looking to do color accurate work want to rely on a monitor like this. And I really like the form factor of 27 inch and 1440p. I always find that resolution and size to be the best workflow whenever it comes to the professional work. Because if you go too wide and too big for the resolution, then you start to see individual pixels. However, if you also don't want really small monitor, then you're just completely constrained in terms of the screen real estate. So this is my basically go-to resolution and overall screen size. And I'm really happy with its color accuracy. And the Pro Art series from Asus is line of product that is offered for professionals like you and me and all the creators out there. And in terms of the menu system, you've got a couple of buttons down here. So the first one over here is a power button. And then as you press one of the button, the menu is going to pop up and you can just press the corresponding one and you can certainly change different type of brightness, the color mode and such. And I had to reduce the brightness from 50% to about 10% to get a correct exposure for my camera. And that's what you are seeing. And just checking out the price for this monitor, I've seen this monitor going for $380 US on Amazon. So yeah, for a professional monitor like this with this much of color accuracy and color gamut, it usually goes a lot higher than that. So I'm really happy with the overall pricing of this device as well. So if you're a type of person who's keen on doing color accurate work and if that's really important for you, yeah, definitely do consider. That was a short checking out and unboxing of this monitor over here as well as the Pro Art series from Asus. If you have liked this content, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. And thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.